I'd like to take you back just a little bit of history because okay. with everything we drive, I think it's important to see these cars in context. And plus, you Hopefully. know, it's, it's nice to know a few things. Yeah. So this is the brand new 2019 Passport. The first Passport actually was in the 90s. It was for almost a decade, starting in 92, 93, yeah. at least in the US. And it was a rebadged Isuzu Rodeo. It was. Now think about this. That was when the whole SUV, CUV thing came about and Honda was scrambling and they yep. freaked out and they realized they didn't have something to offer customers. Yep. So they went to a joint venture. Already Subaru and Isuzu had this mm -hmm. plant in Indiana. So it was a joint venture between two other car companies built in America, now rebadged as a <sighs> Honda for the fourth rebadging there, but at least they had something in the market. Yes, in that in that mid-range. In, in yeah, that mid-range. For, sure, for sure. And then there was a slight second generation and then it went away mm -hmm. for a long time. Yeah, it's been gone like 15, 16 years. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You're watching Everyday Driver. We make a TV show, podcast, and YouTube channels dedicated to great cars, driving adventures, and helping you find a car you'll love. Subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a thing. So now it's back and it's been rebadged again yes. because this is essentially a pilot. It's it's They've the <laughs> it's the pilot light. It's the pilot oh, light and you've the been pilot waiting light. to make that joke. I have been waiting to make that. You've been joke. holding off I've on been, that. I've been hanging on to that. One. This oh, is the man. this is the Honda pilot light. It is. It is. It's almost similar to when you see a Yukon versus a Yukon XL except yeah. except that the Yukon Yukon XL is actually a wheelbase change. This is not. Right. This is the Honda Pilot, which we drove recently for television. It's the Honda Pilot, six inches shorter, and no third row. Otherwise, right. it is the Honda Pilot. It's not, it's not like sorta, it's kind of yeah. like it's not like they got close. It's not like they used parts from. <laughs> it is the Honda Pilot, yeah. without a back row and with six inches shorter. So you, oh wait, wait, At we did make it. We made it an inch <laughs> higher, so yes. now it can go off-road. Well, mm -hmm. at least they're consistent. And Ugh. the reason I brought up that rodeo is because the rodeo, which I actually kind of dug that name, that had sort of the off-roady, at least the mm -hmm. marketing brochure <laughs> said off-roadiness. Uh, for sure. And that's sure, exactly yeah. the photos mm -hmm. on the website for the new Passport because is, yep. there's campfires involved, there's beanies, and uh -huh. there's guitars. But for this one, maybe it's like a roof rack with climbing ropes in the back and some luggage yeah. and you know, you're parked in the weeds, just so. And it's a, a slight bit of rocky trail. We joked about that on the podcast yeah, before. It's great. That this is like a marketer's dream to have an SUV and they talk Are about all the me? all the life experience you're gonna have. It becomes all a lifestyle shoot. That totally. kinda has a car in the background. And I hate to say it, <laughs> but these commercials for this They're on point. Yeah. Again, so they have history. They've rebadged their own product now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. So this this you know the passport name is back and we were thinking you know what now what was in the middle of the oh yeah it's this niche segment car manufacturers these days are doing this if you don't have a product a car to fit into the niche that people are buying they're going to go buy their competitors yes that is also why this is a good business decision i, I i'm going to make the is. case for this being I good business don't agree. on the part of honda <laughs> here's why okay in terms of the industry, Honda is not a big car company. They are a big company True. In, by themselves, in standalone. Are. Yes, yes. But as a large company, True. in comparison to all the other car companies on the planet, GM, Toyota, Volkswagen, yes. they're yes. tiny. So yes. for the future, for where they're going to invest in whatever they're going to do, for fuel efficiency, for autonomy, for new product for offerings. For four more SUVs. Well, yeah. yeah they're going to have to cut costs somewhere. Yeah. And to do that, they've got to reuse things. They've got to reuse the headlights, sheet metal. Think about this. Everything from the C pillar forward is the same as the pilot. To the point that when you read actual reviews of this, they bring up the fact that it has unique taillights to the Passport. Why? Because everything of forward of the taillights is the pilot. This does get the optional larger engine from the pilot. It's the Really? It, it came from the pilot? It, yeah, I know. It gets strange. I, it's crazy. I would it, have gets, it gets the V6 with the 280 horsepower, yeah. about 260 pound feet of torque. Yep. This is lighter, not by much, by like, you know, like a backpack <laughs> worth. It is lighter <laughs> just than the pilot, but it also gets the good nine speed transmission that the upgraded pilot gets. Yes. So they have raised it an inch. They have made it, they claim, more off road There's capable. The difference. But that brings me to a thought. Okay. This isn't a direct connection, but I but I want to I want to tell a story real quick. When I was growing up, when I was in high school, yeah. my best friend's dad had an original 
International Scout. Oh yeah, those okay? are cool. They and still we are rode, cool. And actually. we rode around in them, and he had that thing, and he kept it running in spite of itself because it never wanted to run. Okay. It only had springs. It did not have dampers because it was traditional old 4x4. I, right. I, I promise I'm going to land this. Old, old school. Old school. His driver's seat had the damper like you see in lots of trucks where you he see it had in, the damper. Yeah. So the driver would be Semi-trucks, doing this and yeah. bouncing up and down. We high school kids would be riding in the back just laughing because it was this constant vibration thing. Going, ow, ow, ow. I drove this and it reminded me of that. I'm really? not saying it's that bad. I'm not saying it. But this feels oversprung. It has springs that you can really feel and dampers that can't keep up. It feels like it is bouncing around. Mm-hmm. And for mm-hmm. this, and, and everything about the rest of the, how it feels, I don't think it should feel like that. It feels up on its tiptoes and it bouncing is. around, and I want the dampers to do a better job. I'm not expecting any information out of the steering wheel, and I'm not getting it. And, and you're rewarded with yeah, that. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not getting it. That, that lack of I, expectation. I'm, cor- I'm correct. You, you are My expectations there. Are, but I want a better ride with this. I know they've made it to be their off-roader. How much are people really going to off-road in spite well, of the folks in the commercial? How much are they going to do it? <laughs> we're, we're kidding, but I kind maintain of. that this is good because I got in it thinking, huh, that Jeep Grand Cherokee I used to have? Yeah. This is a contender as far as interior space. This oh. is great interior space. Honda's best thing is interior space. The interior space in this is cavernous. I bet you, even though I know the numbers are better in the favor of the Tahoe, I bet you if you got in a Tahoe or Yukon or got in this, you would think as a consumer, this is almost as big. Yeah. I mean, inside. And it isn't on the outside. You know, the, you, the space you don't have the, the, the giant hood. You don't have no. the, the styling. This begs the elephant in the room question, which is the reason we're all buying, and I say we all because consumers it's, are. It's the royal The we, reason right? we're the, the all we. buying CUVs yes. is because we don't want to get a minivan. Are they any better than a minivan? Would you get more usability out of it than a minivan? I think in many cases the answer is no. Yeah. I hate to say it, but we're trying to get away from the minivan, and as a result, we've got something that, frankly, the minivan could have done the job the same or better. Yeah. Ooh. I know. (laughs) That is somebody on a press launch that has been pulled over by the local Utah police. Got one. (laughs) They're savvy. We're going to be stalking those guys all week. Yeah, I wonder where he was hiding. Welcome to Utah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, you know, they've got a story about Utah. <laughs> they've got a story. The officer in Utah was surprisingly <laughs> nice. <laughs> exactly. Because everyone in Utah is. All right, we're back on the road. I hear what you're saying about the steering field because raising the car, I feel like, has changed the suspension geometry of it. Mm-hmm. Because if you think about it, everything's still the same. The the assemblies for the front and rear <laughs> suspension are just bolted on to the new sheet metal. Let's hit it again. Everything's still the same. Yeah. Width. Name it. Height. Name height it. Height is only different because they've because raised the suspension. the suspension. But width, height, wheelbase, the weight is almost the same. When I first drove this, I was so confused by why does it exist, I looked up where it sits in the Honda lineup. Uh Uh-huh. Because uh Honda has been wildly successful, and they should be because it's great, with the Honda CR-V. Yes. Okay. Yes, and that's been around forever. Exactly. That's their five-seater. The next one above that has been the Pilot, which is the big family seven-seater. So this is supposed to go in the middle. Is it really bad that I want to pass the Rogue? I I really want to hammer it and pass the Rogue. You do want to pass the Rogue. I think you really should pass the Rogue. Yeah. Can I can I downshift? Go, go, do it. Ooh, come on, baby. All right. So I looked up. Honda has the CRV, yeah. and they have the Pilot. This should go between, but it's so similar to the Pilot. I started looking up things, and I thought, honestly, the second row in this car has a shocking amount of space. It's great. It's an oh, it's unbelievable great. amount of yeah. space until you look at the spec. Okay. The CRV has almost exactly the same second row space. <laughs> so what are we doing? It's not like you gained a bunch of extra passenger cabin. You gained width. But as far as like from your knee, which is where it really matters, uh-huh, it's uh-huh. almost exactly the same in the CRV. I mean, like down to tenths of an inch you're debating now. Which is amazing because okay. they're two different platforms. Yes. This is Honda's global light truck platform, mm-hmm. is what they're calling it, which, you know, many things will be built off of this. But it's so close to the CRV. The only reason you would get this that I can see over the CRV is because this has a more powerful engine by about 100 horsepower and torque. Well, so this which is a, significant. This, that is a big deal. I mean, this I'm sporty a, driving through the canyons here. <laughs> you are. There's a lot of body roll. You're, you're hooning the passport. <laughs> uh, the, Whoever says that. Us and no one else ever will because <laughs> they're going to try hard not to. Yeah. But this has a 5,000 pound tow rating. Okay, the CRV has about a 1,500 pound tow rate. Right. That's, that's the reason that's you get this over the CRV. But honestly, I, I still struggle. This is nearly $40,000. Oh, this one fully loaded 
is forty four thousand. Yeah. yeah. Because this is the elite. It's the all wheel drive. It's the it has press everything on it. Forty four thousand dollars. Forty four grand. You can get your pick of seven seaters at that point, and yeah. when they are only slightly heavier, a little bit longer, I think this is a. I think this is a design exercise in no man's land. I don't get what this is for. I, I'm yes. sorry. I know I'm ra raging no, here, but fine. I don't get it. It's a valid point, but keep in mind my discussion about the business decision of making this. Because Clearly. you have Clearly. already invested everything in making the pilot. The bumper covers, the, the fascias are different. Yes, front they rear, They need yeah. to be. Yeah. And has, has unique taillights to the passport. Well, yay. Anyway. They, they're very close. Yeah. But I maintain, if you're going to reuse a lot of the same parts, I would have loved to see different styling that says this is more rugged because that's mm. the market that it's going towards. But yes. then it would mean more investment in tooling, exactly. and you'd have they to can't do that. Actually, spend more on the R and D, mm -hmm. which, mm -hmm. from a business perspective, they're not going to do because of again the size of the company. But of course, it, they've got to make this segment because if you don't have that, people are going to go buy I the Jeep Grand Cherokee, what's, the Highlander, the, the Forerunner. There's a lot of offerings in what's this happened? size category. You know what's happened. They did a marketing investigation, and the marketing company found the buyer that doesn't want the CRV because it's not rugged enough and doesn't tow enough. Was this focus group. But do, this don't was tell me this was you focus know group. this was focus group. Oh, man. But they aren't going to buy a pilot because they don't have kids. So right, they have right. friends and climbing gear and kayaks, and they're buying the four and the Highlander. Marketer's and so, dream. And, and and the CRV there might be beach scenes in there. Probably in. You, because the CRV if you're lucky. the CRV can't haul the boat no, or the jet ski. We need to have beach so with this. So this is the case. reason that I'm sure this yeah. is the reason the passport exists. I take your point. We've driven a pilot for season five, mm -hmm. okay? So that is coming out as part of our triple seven-seater comparison. Yes, that's, that's available for that sure. That was fully loaded at $49,000. Mm -hmm. I did the math. I'm not a mathy guy. I went to art school. Leave me alone. Yeah. $715 per inch. You, it, they're just <laughs> over $4,000 more for six inches more car. And, and a back bench. And the back bench and yeah. everything you get yeah. along with it, but the theme here, which is the off-road theme, yeah. I feel like it's really affected the handling for the worse. The steering is, of course, very overboosted, and we're not yeah. looking we're for not the looking driving for experience. Field. That's not the thing. But it feels a little bit more unsure of itself, yeah. especially through corners. Yeah. And, you know, again, not that we need to have an amazing driving experience. Well, it really, it hugs these corners like. No, it doesn't. This feels like somebody drove the Jeep Wrangler to benchmark how this should handle, and I have to ask the question of why on earth... Okay, so, if the Passport had knobby tires, okay, if it were lifted here, and it had a little bit more of a plastic cladding, and it feels like, all right, I could scrape this thing up again, would that change your perspective and justify it in Honda's well, portfolio? Possibly. Possibly. I it's don't... the same thing, yeah. but lifted, and now it's got knobby tires, and it comes with the roof rack, maybe. But the and, original Passport, that was the you thinking. Know, it sort of looks off-road. It was, we really are doing an off-roader, and we're yes. Honda. And look, yes. there's no question from an engineering and reliability standpoint, this will be great, and I'm sure it can handle off-road. Oh, I'm, I'm not concerned about phenomenal that. For it doesn't long, have a low range gearbox, but who cares? That's not why you <laughs> bought this, okay? But what if it did? Well, possibly. Would that separate it in the but, marketplace? If but you're I, thinking, I do ooh, think Forerunner versus this. I do think that you should you should separate it further. This is the pilot light. I'm sorry, I'm staying there. It's just you've been holding out on me. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it, it struck me when we started. Watch, watch back. Oh, I started man. laughing when we started because it dawned oh, on me as no. we pulled away. It's terrible. Oh. Okay, so they have changed obviously the faces, but the Lone Ranger styling is oh, all, yeah. it's blacked out and it works on the Passport. Uh -huh. It doesn't work on the Accord. I'm not thrilled with it on the Accord. You still hear the Lone Ranger theme every I hear time them you like, see it, don't you? Putting on the mask, <laughs> going into no stop. But everything is blacked out, and that's the difference. There's a little bit of color color choice change. That's the yeah. only difference. You can pull got your horse trailer. Car. You can. You got a there car go. to compete in this size, I guess. which is astounding. And they have to do it. They're I almost suppose. compelled to do it. Because can we please start buying cars it. again? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so this has the start-stop feature that Todd and I loathe. Yeah. But it doesn't actually shut the engine off right away when you come to a stoplight. It uh -huh. pauses and kind of thinks, are we really stopped for a little bit? <laughs> it waits little to while. see how serious you are. Yeah. That, are and are that, we really honestly, doing it? That's helpful. As so weird as it sounds. little things, yeah. and then it's started up again as soon as it feels brake pressure change. Not when you're coming off. Yeah. It yeah. feels your foot just kind of flexing, and it, oh, are we ready? Are we, here we go. 
It's so, super eager. Yay! Maybe the start stop has AI now. Can you imagine? Everything has AI. It'll, AI. it'll happen in a minute. Yeah. Something's coming. But you know, little touches like that, as easy it is to, as it is to drive, and as accessible as this yeah. is, they'll sell boatloads. They'll of these. probably sell a ton of them. The space is the big party trick. The space is phenomenal. Absolutely. This feels airy and enormous in here. <laughs> if you don't need a third row, I, I still think it's in a no man's land by itself. But you're right; they're just going to sell. They're okay. just going to sell. So. For those of you watching who have either already bought one and justifying your purchase, or for those of you shopping, I think it's a great buy, but it is a lot of competition in this market, and 40, it kind of depends what you're looking for. Forty plus thousand dollars is a lot of money for if this. If it's off road, it's a there's lot of money for other this. choices. But if it's just the all around, it's hard to beat the Honda. I I don't like the ride enough. Sorry.